Okay, Gemini. Here is the energy coming through. Wow. <laughs> the world. The world. Oh, this is such a beautiful card. So the world is all about enjoying the success that you have in your life right now. And when you look at judgment, the world, and then going back into the full, it speaks about reincarnation. So this is the complete end of the journey, but it's also about going again. But again, this is enjoying the success that you have in your life right now. And this being the signifier is really powerful. It's beautiful to see. Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm so tempted to take a drink of wine right now. So, <laughs> judgment. Judgment is all about rising up to hear the call. This is about reviewing your past with joy rather than regret. And for this being the past coming through, it's like, and, and looking at these two, it's saying that, you know, you're okay. You're okay with past events because here you are getting ready to go again, like making amends for past, past events. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Very nice. Very, very nice. So in the present, the three of pentacles, so the threes are like the beginning of the journey. But when you look at the three of pentacles, this is about being recognized for the work that you're doing and people are seeking you out for it. And I, you know, seeing that with the world to me would suggest that you're starting something new but you're doing the right thing and you're being recognized for it. And when you look at it underneath judgment, it says that you've done the right thing. So just these three are beautiful to see. Beautiful. Future conditions. The Knight of Wands. So the Knights can represent a person or this could be messages coming through. So the Knight of Wands is somebody who's very passionate and very driven. He is looking to the horizon and he's wanting to seek new adventures. Now, as a person, this could be a fire sign coming through. But, you know, looking at just what you have going on here, to me, it would suggest that you're going after something new. And there may be some traveling going on, too. But I feel like you're really taking charge here. And you're going after something that you're passionate about. And with that three on top, it suggests that whatever new thing you're doing here, you're being recognized for. It. And again, you're doing the right thing. But it's also the beginnings. It's just the beginning stages. But it's like, yes. Wow. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Must have wine. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. And look at it underneath the world. I always talk about these two when one or the other shows up. So the Wheel of Fortune is like the half. The world is the complete end. In the Wheel of Fortune, this is all about second chances. And fate being on your side. All the, de all the bad is going down. The good is coming up. Anubis is suggesting rebirth. And this is about second chances. And looking at these three, wow. <laughs> heavy, heavy hitters. You are definitely ready to do something new in your life. And again, it's like you're doing the right thing. And this is something that you're passionate about. And, you know, with judgment and the wheel, you know, this is about giving yourself second chances as well. Wow. Wow. You guys aren't playing. Ooh, oh, oh, <laughs> always with the Gemini readings, you guys threw, you, you throw me for a loop every time, you know, I, and I should expect this by now with these readings, I forget the duality, the nine of swords. So this being in your environment right now, it's like, it's no wonder why you have these heavy hitters coming through. 
you know, and with judgment being there, clearly there's a need to be okay with yourself and with your past. The Nine of Swords is all about mental anguish and regret and despair. This is all about the mental stuff that you do to yourself. This is crying alone, sleepless nights. It's no good. It's no good. And I always say this with the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is connected to the Three of Swords. It's like cause and effect. So when you look at the image of the Nine of Swords, the person is sitting up in bed with their head in their hands and their sword shooting through the air, but three of them are stabbing them in the back and the back of the head. So it could suggest that the reason why you're feeling this way has to do with heartbreak and betrayal. Oh my goodness. So definitely, you know, there's a need to deal with this here. And again, you know, this is how we choose to feel. And if this isn't in, in your environment right now, if you continue to focus on these feelings here, it will manifest over and over and over again. But these two are so powerful that it's like, nope, we're not even seeing that right now because we are going to give ourselves a second chance. We're going to be okay with past events. And again, you're doing the right thing. Please, 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 please do what you can to not feel this way. Oh, oh, wow. Your hopes and your fears. The moon, the moon is all about confusion, blocking your intuition. This is where your conscious mind is clearly not doing you any favors. This is where you need to let your subconscious mind guide you. Wow. <sighs> There's definitely this need to like give yourself a second chance and be okay with past events that led up to this feeling here. But it's like there's confusion going on right now. And, you know, again, though, with these two, it's like, no, you know, we're not, we're, we're so ready to go again. I mean, it's doubled here. But I really feel like there's something going on where you need to be okay with your past. Because, you know, again, if this is allowed to continue to fester, it will manifest over and over again. And you don't want to do that. Your best path to follow is telling you to give yourself a second chance. And there's definitely this feeling of taking the journey anew and wanting to see something different than this. But don't let confusion block that. You know, I always say with the moon, you need to pay attention to your intuition and what your gut feeling is telling you. And also with this card, it's really important to pay attention to your dreams. I, I always feel that that's so important. That's one of the reasons why I do my readings at the foot of my bed, at the foot of the place where I dream. So, you know, please be careful here about confusion blocking what you're doing here because this is so powerful so powerful and again you know pay attention to what your gut's telling you and don't ignore your dreams you might be getting messages coming through in your dreams that are going to help guide you past this wow oh, shit. oh wow the heavy hitters oh my goodness the chariot. So, wow. The chariot is all about needing to use your willpower and your self-control. This is where you might feel like you're being pulled in two different directions. And you need to be clear on your thought and which path you're going to follow. Wow. Wow. And now, now I understand why confusion is there. You know, there's such uh, there's so much power in just these two alone and then you've got five five of them look at them <laughs> sorry about that gemini i had some technical difficulties so as i was saying these two are so powerful 
right here. So if you feel like you're being pulled in two different directions, clearly you need to take a minute because I, I feel like, you know, with this confusion going on here, it might make it hard for you to choose a path because again, it's like you're going after something that you're passionate about. Wow, wow, this reading just blows me away. And looking at it through here, it's like seeking a new adventure, clearly, but needing to choose a path. And I think if you deal with this here and you give yourself a second chance, and you make amends for the past, it'll clear away this confusion and make it easier for you to choose a path. So still, I, I can't, I can't get over how many majors you guys just pulled, but clearly I feel like there's some issues here because there is definitely a need to deal with past events so that this is no longer in your environment. <clears throat> Excuse me. You do not want to have that lingering there because it will continue to manifest over and over again. And I know there was a reason why I was thinking about travel. Looking at these two, I feel like maybe there's some travel involved here, but clearly you're going after something you're passionate about, but I feel like there may be two different paths for you to choose from. And, you know, it, I can understand with that coming through why confusion is in your hopes and your fears. But again, pay attention to your gut feeling. Let your subconscious mind guide you and pay attention to what your dreams tell you because you might get an answer. But, you know, again, with the Three of Pentacles showing up, I feel like you're going to do the right thing. And clearly you're wanting to do the right thing. And these two, these two, oh, <laughs> Wow, wow, clearly you are ready to take a new path. And there's this feeling of second chances, but there's also this feeling of abundance going on, which is fantastic. I really feel like wherever you go here, you're going to bring success with you. You're going to have success in your life and you're doing the right thing. But, you know, again, do what you can to deal with this so that it doesn't block your journey ahead. <laughs> 